G'day YouTube, Turbo Tristan here. Today, after much hard work and effort, we are back with more proper content on modifying the Project EK, the silver one, right behind me. So uh, stick around, I'll tell you where we're up to with it. Since the last time I've done a proper video on this car, I've been working every single day after work, seven days a week, all weekend long. That's why I haven't done a proper video. I didn't want to show me sanding and smoothing and bogging and painting and prepping and everything. Uh, I had a really big marquee tent in here. It was three meters wide, fit exactly between the posts on the hoist. And that kept all of the dust and overspray and everything off the awesome vintage cars behind us and also my beautiful mural um, but the car is all back together now all of the parts that were untouched by the moron that painted the car so the mirrors the side strips the side skirts the rear spoiler the grill so the rear spoiler the grill the number plates around all of those parts that pretty much had no primer or anything on them. They were all prepared by myself. Uh, there was no plastic primer or anything on the bumpers, so that, that sanded down really easy, and he didn't prime these guards. They were just raw. So the guards, mirrors, grill, side weather strip things, side skirts, spoiler, all of that turned out 100% absolutely perfect if i do say so myself really really happy with how they turned out um, flawless paint here on the mirrors door handles everything uh, but where he did paint uh, where there was already existing paint such as the bonnet the roof uh, a little bit on the doors and the rear quarters we've got this funny uh, tiger stripe effect the rear tailgate turned out pretty well um, but we've got this funny effect there it looks really really good out in direct sunlight but it's overcast today so the car's in here under lights uh, and maybe it'll clear up once I give the whole car a wet sand with 2000 grit sandpaper and then cut and buff and polish the car it should work out fine there's heaps of clear coat on there so tons and tons of clear giving us plenty to work with. I was able to get out all of the dints. So there's no dint here anymore. There's no dint here anymore. A little bit of specks in the paint. I was able to smooth out down there, around this side. Uh, there was a dint there, I fixed that one. On this arch, which was the questionable one, I've got probably 90, 7% of the marks out of that. It's nearly perfect. Uh, fix the bonnet, fix the roof. So there's no dents here anymore. There was a big dent there, came back from the guy. Um, but that's all done now. Now with so many mods on the car to do, I don't really know where to start. I'm probably gonna start with the suspension because that's brand new and it's exciting and everyone wants to see the new Max Peding Rods coilovers on the car. But first I've got to do something with the front knuckles. I've got all of that sorted. Um, I've put on and wired up the EK9 spoiler. Now it has an LED brake light in here, which is the reason why I didn't run that cheap and nasty one. So that's all sweet. Tail lights are back in, we'll give those a polish. I did get a couple of runs in the clear coat here. So they'll smooth out, and on the front guard, there's a run as well, but we'll get to that. I'm pretty happy with the stuff that I did that I can take full credit for. The rest of it, I'm not sure what to do. Although the roof is smooth and dent-free now, and it's got a nice covering of clear coat on there, I only did this yesterday, so it's only had one day to dry, so we're not gonna smooth it out and wet sand it just yet. Probably wait another week for that. Uh, but I'm thinking of carbon fiber wrapping it or maybe a gloss black, not sure yet. If I do carbon fiber there, I'll do the bonnet as well. But if I do gloss black, I'll just leave the bonnet. I guess I'll chuck it up on the hoist, 
and start pulling it all apart to fit the suspension and fit the front knuckles and the big brake kit. Get ready to shove the wheels on, see what it looks like. The bumper bar is just sitting on there. I've got to paint the front spoiler and I've got to clean up where the floppy guy um, put over spray on those black bits down there, but I've got to paint the Honda emblems front and rear as well and figure out what I did with the screws for this aerial but overall looking pretty cool I think it really modernizes the car having everything color coded door handles mirrors side strips number plate garnish spoiler a lot of people just sort of get these cars slap parts on don't bother painting or color coding them I think that's a big no-no but let me know what you think of my paint job the paint itself and the finish is nice and smooth and glossy, or at least it will be once it's cut back and polished. They say silver's a hard color to paint. And one thing I will say, the moron that painted the car in two and a half hours, because I forgot to tell you, it's, he said it took him an hour to figure out how to open the door on the car. So maybe the meth was kicking in at that time and he couldn't figure it out. But one thing he did do really, really, really well and I have to say, good job, mate, was when he did lay out the colour. It was even, uh, even coverage. There was none of this funny pattern in there like I've got. So he did a thousand times a better job at that than I did. It doesn't excuse that he broke the bonnet latch, dented the roof, dented the guards, dented the bonnet, bent my thing inside the door handle, trying to open it up, and did a whole car in two and a half hours. That doesn't excuse any of that. Yeah, he did do a pretty good job of painting everything evenly. So uh, hopefully we get a visitor today. Another YouTuber local is going to come and check out the workshop, do a bit of a collaboration. I'm going to get to work getting all this stuff done. So I'll be back with you in a sec once I get it up on the hoist. In the midst of putting everything back together on this Silver Civic, I've taken a break to get a visitor. We've got Rex H. What's going on? And we've also got his pal Lucky over here. <laughs> distracted by the cat. He's distracted by Iverson. Um, so the guys have just come to check out the workshop and the cars. And uh, yeah, we're just hanging out, having a good time. Probably sorting out future hangouts and future collabs. And For sure. He's got an MR2. Like, I, he baited me here because of that thing. So like, I sort of just, you know, follow the scent of MR2s. And, yeah. that, that was the plan. Yeah. <laughs> Get more he subscribers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we'll be uh, probably working together in the future using the workshop. The guys are close by and local and good people, so happy to help them out. Uh, so yeah, we're just uh, hanging out. Thought I'd uh, chuck him on the channel to say good day, and I'll get back to work. We're gonna go play cars. I got to hang out with Rex for a bit, showing my cars, showing my builds, uh, have a chat to his viewers and subscribers. He did a bit of filming while he was here. But as you will see, I've got the whole front end of the car apart. I've taken out the lower control arms and I have a set one and two of brand new lower control arms, brand new bushes. And these ones have this little eyelet here, which means we can run a sway bar now. And I've actually got a sway bar sitting right there, which we are going to fit soon. But finally, we'll be able to do the brakes. So I've test fitted those onto the uprights and they fit. So I'm going to put all this back in the car now. Uh, just a matter of pulling out this 19 mil bolt and then there's three 19 mil bolts holding the back end of that together. Uh, and then you've got to take out the drive shaft nut, undo the brake caliper and all that sort of stuff. So we're gonna put these back up in the car take out that janky suspension and put in the new max speeding rods which are over there in the box behind me you'll see that i've installed the lower control arm and the max speeding rods mini cooper big brake kit or otherwise known as the poor man's brake upgrade so we've gone from those puny 240 mil brakes to 280 mil brakes so massive increase in diameter so that is a massive upgrade in performance the reason why it's a performance upgrade just having bigger rotors is 
it'll dissipate the heat better and won't overheat as quickly. So that's why that is a huge improvement. We've also gone with some ceramic brake pads, which are a lot higher heat tolerant. And we've got the Integra slash Odyssey slash Prelude slash Accord front brake upgrade on there now. So brand new upper arm, brand new lower arm with the provision just here for a sway bar. And we have safe brake braided brake lines. So they're awesome. So I've got the full brake upgrade now. Just a matter of fitting the brand new Max Peating Rods coilovers. Now check this out. Uh, I didn't see these the other day. So if you saw my unboxing video when I first got these, I was really, really excited. These are the new and improved Max Peating Rods coilovers they look amazing they actually send you a really nice badge decal which will be going on this car because everything on this car will be from max peating rods so that is just absolutely amazing i really dig that so that's going straight on the back of the car as a badge of honor installation instructions now this is something that they've never come with before they are really upping their game so this will tell you everything you need to know about how to set up the dampeners the height, everything to do with the car in quite a few different languages. So all around the world, you'll now know how to do it. Then we have this really cool booklet, Max Peating Rods since 2006. And this has all sorts of information in there for them. Wow, that's actually quite high quality. Different influences in there. Wonder if I made the cut. Not on that page. Nah, didn't make the cut, unfortunately, guys. These guys are really lifting their game. Check that out. Full height adjustable, 24-way dampening adjustable, CNC machine billet parts, long dust boot, tested 600,000 times on the springs, and they're even making control arms, airbags, air pumps, all that sort of stuff. Who knows, maybe one day we'll get to put some airbags in one of these cars. But now I'm gonna stick the brand new front upright in the side that I've already done. We'll get that all set up and see what it looks like. Throw the new rims on. Um, can't wait, let's get over there. Now, if you didn't see my video the other day, check these out. I really dig the color contrast. We've got the nice matte black finish, billet machined alloy parts, nice anodized in a really cool gray color. And that blue is exactly the color I want my Lambo one day while we're dreaming. Um, if I ever get a Lambo, that's what color it'll be. So here it is all installed. Sorry, I don't have anyone else to help me film. It's just been so long with this car that I just want to get stuff done. But there we go, brake line is on. New Max Peating Rods coilovers are in, brakes are on. So I will chuck on a rim now and see what it looks like. Sheesh. Finally get to use my chicane special fancy rim sockets. They don't scratch my new rhizomes. Well, they're new to me rims anyway. Check it out. Now, I'm not going to put it down on the ground yet and do a full stanced out thing. I just wanted to see what that all look like. Give you guys a look at it. I'll do the rear wheel now. Put that on and uh, throw the rear coil over in. Rear coil overs in, looking amazeballs. Uh, if you guys want to know how to do any of this stuff, check back on my earlier videos. I've done plenty of coilover install videos on the channel, so check that out. Can't wait to get these down on the ground. You can see how flat this is. Not ideal for your roll center, but I'll adjust all of that. But you can tell when I put the wheels on and put this on the ground, it's going to be slammed. Luckily, I rolled the guards and... Got all that sorted front and rear so it won't scrub out. Damn, for the first time since having this car that has fought me every single step of the way, I'm actually starting to get a bit of satisfaction here. All the brakes and everything are done, 
four wheel disc conversion all the way around, blacked out headlights. Uh, it's looking really, really awesome. These are how the Max Speeding Rides coilovers come out of the box. I haven't done any adjustments yet. I'll do that later on. I'll probably end up having to take one of them out anyway to um, hopefully take it over to Shockworks if Chris is free and we can dyno it and see if it's any better than the other ones. Every other aspect of them is a million times better. So um, I think anyone would be really happy with these. Sits really good at the moment. Did a pretty good job of that guard. It was pretty mangled to begin with, but now it's pretty mint. Well, it's late on a Sunday night. I've got to go and edit this video now so you guys have something to watch. Sorry it's been so long. Hoping you guys love the wheels, brakes, coilovers so far. I'm going to get stuck into the radiator and the intake manifold. Maybe even as soon as tomorrow, get another video up doing that with all the radiator hoses and everything. I've got to put the sway bar on. I want to paint that first to match everything else on the car. Paint the rocker cover, put the extractors on, and then get the exhaust done. From there, probably all the engine mods will be done. I've got to put all of the interior back together, put the front speakers in. That sort of stuff shouldn't take too long, but I can't wait to get this down on the ground, see what it drives like, see what it handles like. If you do want some of these coilovers, there'll be a link in the description. Uh, with the way things are in the world at the moment, manufacturing costs have gone up, so the discount is 5% now for any of my viewers. Tristan1 is a discount code, you get 5% off. Get yourself a nice set of coilovers. These are a huge improvement over the last ones, and hopefully I'll have some dyno results soon. But until next time, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed Rex saying g'day. If you don't know who Rex is, go check out his channel. Uh, there'll be a link in the description for him as well. Uh, he's on around 40,000 subscribers. Going really good. MR2 content, Toyota Chaser content, and drifting AU Falcon content, uh, which is just crazy. So check him out. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying very, very hard to get to 10,000 subscribers before Christmas time. It's the 6th or 7th of November at the moment, so we've got a month and a bit to go. I need 2,000 more subscribers. Hook me up, spool up, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Hi.